What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K. The Lonely Hermit. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to week three of our Elite Battle League Season 5. Today, we're going to be taking on the Iowa Incineroar and Inferno Man, who is a great friend of the channel. Um, be sure to check out his links down below and go watch his side of the battle. And above all else, just check him out. He's a great person. So go subscribe to him. Go watch his stuff. Watch his battle. Um since that pertains to this video uh, <laughs> also be sure to check out all of my other links down in the description we got playlist links where you have a discord if you want to join twitter uh and merch and all that good stuff if you want to check all that out following it's not required you don't have to that's fine it won't hurt my feelings uh <laughs> um but it is greatly appreciated so um with all that being said, uh, for those of you who might not know, I'm not going to go into detail about it. Landon is serving a penalty, so uh, he can only bring four Pokemon. That does not mean I'm taking this match lightly. Um, through my prep, I found some ways that Landon can be annoying. Sorry, that part of my hair is really bothering me. Um, I found some ways that Landon can be annoying. Um, and just overall, f basically ways for him to get into the match quickly. Um... And you'd be surprised that it doesn't really involve Zashin a whole lot. Not that I'm not afraid of it, and I'm not prepped for it, because of course I am. Um, but I, uh, what the? sorry, my notes are weird. Um, but I still, regardless, I'm not taking this match lightly. Uh, point is, the point is, there you go. The point is, I'm not trying to take this match lightly. Uh, not at all. I, I even did practice battles for this, even though uh, I didn't do any for Pidge. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to be, we're not going to be taking this lightly. Uh, Landon, we're definitely going to take him seriously, um, and hopefully it all turns out well. So the, the team I'm predicting is Ash and Salamence with Deluxe and Amoongus. Um, that actually favors me uh, quite a bit um, if I can, you know, manage his stronger hitters. Uh, the only reason Salamence, Vanillix, and Amoongus is because he hasn't brought them yet, so he might try to just bring them in this match. Incineroar, if Incineroar doesn't come, honestly, that's a great thing for me. Um, if Incineroar does come, then... We'll just deal with it as we go. Um, but regardless, uh, I'm going to get all linked up with, with Landon, and then we're going to get good to go. All right. We are all nice and connected. Let's go ahead and hit single battle normal rules. So, uh, gym leader theme, as per usual. <laughs> um, Not Nate the Great, not the Pidge Missioner, the Pepperoni Man. <laughs> pepperoni, Pepperoni. So. We're leading Lapras. Depending on what he sends out, we're going to Gigantamax right away. I know you're probably thinking, but you're relying on Lapras too much. It's just a setup to Aurora Veil. Vale. And he... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting team. So he did not bring um, Incineroar, which benefits us. He did not bring Incineroar, which benefits us greatly. I could realistically send out <laughs> Zash in private story sense, but I'm going to stick with my game plan. Depending on what's in front, even if it's a lowland Raichu, I mean, I still might stay in, honestly. Or I could just hard switch to Scizor and save the Dynamax for later. So, here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. Good luck, Landon. Best of luck to you. Already shot him a message. This is just me saying it in video. He sends out Zashin. That's kind of what I figured he might do, which is cool. He's gonna CC right off the rip. We're gonna we're gonna Gigantamax in front of this thing. We are gonna Gigantamax in front of this thing. We have a little bit of a problem with. Should I Gigantamax in front of this thing? He might expect me to switch. Mm 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 mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe I save the Dynamax. Yeah, we'll save the Dynamax. We'll save it. He probably gets up a Story Dance. Probably. If he saw that coming. CC. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and... Should we speed check it? Mmm, let's get up rocks. Let's get up rocks. If he brings in Vanillix, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. So we get up rocks for free here. Red Vine is the Gyarados. Okay. That's cool. So he's gonna try and kill me. 
He's gonna try and kill me. I could just haze. Yeah, I'm a haze. We're gonna haze. Cause he's probably gonna try and D dance in front of us. Which is fine. I could Dynamax Rodriguez. That wouldn't be the, the worst idea. Taunt. I like, I like, I like, I like. I like, I like. I like. So we're gonna go ahead and. Um. I should just speed check it, huh? Let's speed check it. He might, he might Dynamax in front of us. Waterfall. We eat that. Well, we eat one. <laughs> Actually, we might eat a second one. We do take Intimidate. I don't know if it kicks in right away. It does. Woo, yes. Sweet. I flinched. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. That's annoying. That is annoying. If he wants to switch here, he is more than welcome to. D-Dance, yeah, okay. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. So he's going to go plus one speed. He's neutral attack now. Please don't miss. Thank you. Okay. So all I wanted to do was speed check. Because now we're going to switch to Lapras. Oh, or I could just do this. Does he try taunting again? If he taunts again, it's fine. If not, do we live? No, that's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. He's going to get the Moxie boost? No. Oh, duh, he intimidate. <laughs> We're going to go back to you. So he actually got the first kill of the game, which is fine. But we're 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 having good trades, not gonna lie. Uh waterfall. It wouldn't have mattered actually. He had wandering spirit. Or I had yeah, we switched, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um I don't wanna get this up first. Do I get up the Yeah, I think we get up the Aurora Veil first. Let's get the Aurora Veil up. I like that nickname, Red Vine. <laughs> uh, Vanilla X is probably Dairy King. My voice just shook so bad right there. He's going to outspeed us, which is fine. He probably didn't see us coming. If he wants the Dynamax Gyarados, that's cool. I don't want to reveal the Max Lightning just yet. And again, I'd rather get up the, the Aurora Veil. Bounce. Okay. That's annoying. <laughs> that is annoying. So it's going to come back down. We're going to be able to eat a hit because he's locked in. I'm still going to get this up. Because it'll help us in the long run. We avoided it. Oh my god, that's big. So we get up the Aurora Veil. We get up the Aurora Veil. Which is great. It is great. Okay. Now, should I go for max strike just in case? Should I go for max strike just in case? So I could speed check something. I feel like I kill from this range. My voice is shaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's speed check. Just in case he tries to switch. We'll speed check. Whatever comes in. Because I think we kill Gyarados from this range. I think we kill Gyarados from this range. He didn't bring Salamence either, so that actually does benefit us a lot. Not bringing uh, Incineroar. Incineroar and Amoongus were the main ones I was worried about. Obviously, Salamence and Gyarados can get loose uh, if you don't check them well enough. Um, what's he going to do here? He's bounce again. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. So we got up the Aurora Veil, though. Should I just switch? Who can take a bounce? Zashin can take one, right? Probably. <laughs> we'll stay in the T-Bolt. Because it's going to hit us, which is fine. Or. Or. Mm, no, not yet. We're going to T-Bolt. This is going to do nothing. A little more than I thought, so we reveal the T bolt that kills Gyarados. He probably goes to Vanillax, maybe or Zashin. Probably goes Zashin, which is fine with me if he wants to go Zashin. So, uh, Lapras, 
Tebow, uh, Gallardos, Gallardos, uh, G Max. Gotta put that. So whatever he sends in next, he might Dynamax. So Vanilla X, I mean, I think would be his better candidate. He can set up his own Aurora Veil if he wants to. Could do that. What's he gonna do here? I have a feeling he might just go to Zashin, not gonna lie. Hello, Nurchin. That's fine. That is fine. That's fine. Uh, Will Lapras has already done its job, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. He's probably gonna. No, he didn't. Okay. He's fishing. What's he fishing for? What's he fishing for? Why do you do that? What is he fishing for? Maybe I should use Ice Beam just in case we could freeze. Nuzzle. Oh, okay. Paralyze me. That's fine. Lapras isn't even that fast anyways. We ate that. Oh, we ate that. That's going to hurt. I don't think it'll kill, but that's going to hurt. Oh, wow. That actually took it a little better than I thought it would. My Aurora Veil. Right. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that sucks. That actually does suck. Never mind. <laughs> it's not that fine. Um, on the chance we can free something. Why? Well, Protect. Okay, Landon. <laughs> What are you trying to do here? <laughs> that worked in our favor. That actually worked in our favor. Okay. Please don't get paralyzed again. <laughs> Please don't get paralyzed again. Hit me with a T-Bolt. Come on. I wonder if he goes to Vanillax here. Psy Shock. So he doesn't have a stronger move than Nuzzle. <laughs> We're built defensively, so that was never going to do anything. Um... Nuzzles is only an uh, electric type move. Which is interesting. Session. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is a minor problem. This is a minor problem. Because of Renrigus being gone. We still have Rotom for this thing, but... Chance for paralysis. Well, Ice Beam. If we can get in low enough range, uh, Z um, Scizor can beat it. Even if he starts Swords Dancing. If he wants to do that, that's fine. He hits us first. Close combat from this range, I think, kills. Uh, so he is more than welcome to do that. Take out Lapras, that's fine. That just means he's not setting up. L Zashin can take one hit. Play rough. He missed. He missed. That's huge. Oh, wow. Dude, this is actually, these Pokemon are bulky. <laughs> he missed the play rough. I mean, if Ice Beam did that, I think I still click it on the chance to freeze. CC. Do we live? No. Okay, that's fine. He did your job. So he has CC and play rough. He has CC and play rough. Which is cool. I did not see how much health it had left. That's kind of a problem. I could go to you, but... We'll go to you. We'll go to you. Good job, Lapras. You did what you had to do. I mean, it, a bullet punch... I mean... Yeah, a bullet punch hurts this thing a lot. It hurts both of his Pokemon, so... If he wants to switch, good on him, I guess. <laughs> if he wants to switch, go ahead. Technician boosted bullet punch on a defense drop. It's gonna knock it on. It's not gonna like this hit. And it, yeah. Not gonna like that hit. Scizor. Bullet. He still has his Dynamax. He still has his Dynamax, which he'll probably click. If, I mean, he may as well just click it at this point. He may as well just click it. I don't think... Ooh, those stones came in big. So I don't think... I don't think it'll kill us. It, ah, it might. I'm going to click this. It might be a mistake. The good part is, is it actually outspeeds this thing. So all Scizor has to do is stall at least two turns on the Dynamax. He didn't... 
Didn't Dynamax. Landon, you may as well just Dynamax, dude. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay. So... I'm genuinely flabbergasted by that play. Wow, okay. Um, we'll just click Bullet Punch. <laughs> that was an interesting play. He may as well just Dynamax. I mean, I know he's it's the odds of him winning. GG's. <laughs> I know the odds of him winning were still low, but I mean... He may as well die. Whatever, any, whatever, regardless. I I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to get too happy over that win. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's realistically, no, just, I don't mean this isn't in a disrespectful way. Um, I realistically should be winning that match. So um, I'm not going to get too excited over it. GG Zondon. Um, you made a couple interesting plays that definitely threw me off there, uh, especially at the end. But I, again, I mean, I maybe he just didn't see the point of Dynamaxing, which is, you know, I understand it. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be too. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too crazy for for that type of win because it's. I mean, it's an opponent who's not even at full strength. So, uh, but we do move to three zero, which is great. Um, was that six two win? One two three four five six. Yeah, six two win. Solid. Um, it is what it is. We move on to week four. Next week we take on the doorman. That is going to be one heck of a showdown. I cannot wait to face him. He, uh, He's been on a bit of a tear lately, so I, I can't wait to take him on. Um, but yeah, that's it. Check out Landon down in the description. Go check out his side of the battle. Go subscribe to him and check out the rest of the stuff he's got going on on his channel. Um, he's an avid shiny hunter. So if you guys like shiny hunting, that is the place to be. Uh, go, yeah, go subscribe to him. Check out the EBL channel. Go subscribe to that. I do videos over there as well. And check out, I didn't even say this at the beginning. Check out all the other coaches in the description. Go um, sub to them. So you, miss, so you do not miss any matches. Um, so you do not miss any matches in the EBL. You need, you need to go check everyone out so you don't miss a single match. Uh, follow subscriber sister. It's all greatly appreciated. Again, GG's Landon. Um, and yeah. And of course, be sure to share social media, friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know only here where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.